Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano!
Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. The attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. Hey, Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go exploring. 